Hello there Aries and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Sue and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today I'm doing your mid-October tarot reading. This will be good for like October 15th to November 15th and we'll take a look at the overall energies with the oracle card and then move to the tarot for more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonating with the message, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like, sharing, or subscribing. Okay, let's get into your reading let's see what we have for the overall energy oh okay <laughs> so you know um i feel like this is more of a present energy or energy from the past feeling kind of orphaned um the never-ending story is a little bit about your self-confidence kind of like just wondering are things ever going to work out for me kind of being stuck in this energy and then look at what comes in like serendipity is kind of like a kiss from the universe. You know, the universe is coming in and saying, okay, Aries, you've been stuck in this energy for quite a while. Let's move on <laughs> to some happier times. All that glitters. Um, this card to me, I always read this card as somebody in this situation could be wearing a false mask, you know, pretending to be happy when they're really not very happy so this could be you or this actually could be somebody you're dealing with um if you're you know this card to me sometimes pops up when you are separated from somebody and they're kind of out there having a good time and you're like oh they're not missing me you know like i am really missing them but they're not missing me um this is that energy of no they're really missing you they're just putting on the happy face you know trying to pretend that they don't miss you but they really do okay so let's go ahead and go to um the tarot and get some more details about these cards because you know we have some kind of you know um sad energies here but then to me this is one of the happiest cards i love to see this card come out Okay, your present energy, Queen of Wands, really nice. Yeah, being in the sense of finding your confidence again. So this could be you, you know, and then this is the energy of somebody you're dealing with. So we're going to um, take a look at that. You know, Queen of Wands is somebody that's single and very happy to be so. <laughs> Just kind of like, yeah, I'm living life um okay these two kind of came out this is your area of resistance or obstacle not being willing to walk away from something and start something new so interesting with this queen of wands energy oh you know part of me um we are going to clarify a uh, part of me wonders if this is the person that you're dealing with I mean, this is your energy, you know, the wand energy, fire sign, your strength, having the strength, having the strength to see this situation for what it is, having the strength to go forward without this person, just understanding that, yeah, there's something that you need to go do. Uh, you need to go in a different direction. I'm definitely getting that sense. Four of Cups, having the strength to overcome this situation, overcome the dis, you know, the, the discomfort of this. Hmm. And then, Emperor, standing in your energy. Gaining control. Of your life again knight of pentacles progressing slowly but surely okay aries let's go ahead and clarify this the queen of wands i think is what's kind of um throwing me off here uh let's see what we have here judgment nine of cups ace of cups king of wands on the bottom okay now, so we have a court couple here. Um, I am going to say that, you know, this is you and this person that I think you're separated from. I really feel like you're separated. Um, and there's a couple of reasons. We have the orphan energy here, but you're showing up 
in the present energy and this person is showing up in the underneath okay so you're not like together you're together but you're not this person's energy is still in your energy field you may be wanting to move away from this person it could be another fire sign but it doesn't have to be so it could be a Sag Leo or another Aries, but it does not have to be. But this person's energy is in your energy. And I um, am really kind of getting the sense that you are making the judgment call to go for whatever it is that's going to make you happy. You're willing to put love into it, whether it's with this person or you're going in a new direction. Because look at this, we have the Ace and the Nine of Cups. One plus nine is 10. You know, you're making the choice to go after what it is that you really want. Um, Queen of Wands, having the confidence, knowing that you deserve, I mean, the Queen of Wands really has a lot of confidence. <laughs> she knows what it is that she wants and she's fine waiting until it arrives because she's just enjoying life, right? Um, it could be, there could be a little bit of you, you know, it's that fake it till you make it type of energy, um, you know like putting on a happy face. You could have some of this underneath, but you're kind of like, it doesn't matter. I have to get past that energy so I can step into this energy. It's like really knowing that you need to do that. And I feel like this person is still in your energy field. Oh my goodness, yeah. Okay, true soulmate, perhaps twin flame. Their their energy is that they wanna bring this into balance. They They want reunion with you right um and yet they may not be willing to put the work in okay and you're just kind of like hey i have got to go um make my life happy whatever that means you know i have to go after my own true happiness it's a sense of i don't want to wait anymore and yet at the same time it's like you you have one foot out of the door and yet because this person's energy is still in your field it's kind of like their energy is pulling you back especially with these retrogrades now all the planets are direct october 18th and then your forward motion may move more quickly you know you may make more progress but it's like you want to go on this um new in this new direction you're kind of like trying to pull away from this person's energy and just having a very difficult time. I, I tend to think that this is the person that you're dealing with. They're missing you tremendously. Um, and you're kind of feeling, you could be feeling that type of energy too. I, I get the sense this is a true soulmate connection to inflame. So you, it's very likely that you are feeling their energy. Yeah. We have the devil, the nine of pentacles, the six of pentacles, the five of cups. You know, that you know, missing, you know, just missing. Um, with the devil energy here, it is that attachment. Like you're really wanting to bring this attachment, this magnetic attract attraction um, into balance. Like you're trying to pull away from it. You're trying to get your independence and freedom. And yet you're having a, a really difficult time because it's such a strong magnetic connection. That's what's holding you back. That is what is holding you back. If you've really been trying to move on and you're just like, what is going on? I cannot get, I can't, you know, you could be even like, hey, why am I still in this energy? Why can't I move forward? Um, so let's take a look at the strength card in your, your advice. We have the Eight of Swords, the Empress, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, kind of getting determined. It's almost like as if you have to force yourself to move forward. And once again, I think that's going to be easier after October 18th. You, you want to walk away. You know, you're torn. You're kind of torn. You're up in your head about it, but you want to walk away and start a new life for yourself. Um, trying to find the strength and the courage to do that. Moving out of this, if you have been feeling really like low energy and unmotivated lately, um, that is part of the retrograde energy. Once again, October 18th, things will start <laughs> shifting. Um, you're probably starting to feel the shift a little bit already. 
but it's a having the strength, like staying with this. I feel like for some of you, you are being magnetically drawn back to this person. And it's like, you know that they're not the person you need to be with right now. That doesn't mean things won't change down the line, but it's like just taking those steps to walk away. I mean, we have a lot of energy of walking away, knowing that this is difficult knowing that this person has good points to them um, and yet knowing that you have to move forward and find happiness in your own life. Yeah, the nine of wands, you've been through a lot, you've built up a lot of, you know, you're building up boundaries, trying to protect your heart, trying to move forward. Okay, so as you find the strength to move forward and just Honestly, take little steps every single day. Move forward very slowly. Yes, you get into, yeah, you're going to heal. You know, two of wands, trying to decide what direction to go in. You may be in that energy of one day you love them, the next day you don't. But it's standing into your power. It's coming into your power. You know, we have the emperor and the empress. You know, finding your power couple, <laughs> finding your counterpart, finding your power, finding your strength, healing. You know, being willing to, um, being willing to go through a lot. Let's just put it that way. Go, go through a lot in order to find your true happiness. You know, wishing upon a star and and realizing, okay, I may need a lot of strength to get through this, but I have to work through it. Um, yeah, Four of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Yeah, it's just this energy. And once again, Aries, I feel like things are going to shift towards the end of October for you. I think this is almost like a reading from um, your guide and your angels, your guides and angels just saying, hold on, that things are going to get better. You know, it's kind of like, just look for those little signs from your um, guides and angels, because this is kind of like little things that'll happen just to keep you going, you know, and it could be, you know, I don't know, for some reason they're saying you find a dollar, <laughs> you know, maybe you find money on the sidewalk or something or somebody buys you a free coffee or, you know, just little things. And, and when those things happen, just know those are your guides and your angels helping you to continue on this path forward. All right. So here's your creativity oracle card. Originality. Feel lighthearted and free while trusting that your unique way of doing things is the right way. Yeah. Going forward in your own way, following your own heart is important. And, you know, the lighthearted, I feel like that's the serendipity. Like when you're feeling low, something will happen. Um, you know, you might even find a feather or you might see a bird that means something to you. Um, spend time in nature. It is definitely uh, energy of it's time for you to move on. And yet at the same time, it, this energy of the other person that you're dealing with is just kind of overriding your motivation to move on <laughs> or your energy level. Okay, so we have creator of fire. Yeah, passion. Trying to relight your own passion for whatever it is that you enjoy. Uh, really work on your inner child. Get really creative. You know, draw, paint, dance, uh, whatever it is that you enjoy doing. And don't try to make it into something that has to be uh, perfect or usable or anything just for the joy of creating. Get into that energy that will help you to feel more lighthearted. Um, yeah, just kind of taking a look back at what makes your, what makes you get into this Queen of Wands energy. I always say it's, you know, that pair of shoes <laughs> that you just feel like, okay, <laughs> you know, uh, what is that song? It's something about boots. Um, you know, it's just really sense of, okay, I got this. I got this. And really kind of concentrating on putting yourself in that energy of, I got this. 
and I am going to move forward. And, you know, this past energy can't hold me back anymore. It doesn't matter if I'm only taking one small step forward every day. I'm still making progress. And at some point, I will be. You know, like I may only be one step away today, but a month from now, I'll be a mile away. And then, you know, uh, six months from now, I'll be 20 miles away from this energy. You know, it's just like, just keep plodding forward. Well, Aries, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this message. I really enjoyed doing it for you. And if you did resonate uh, with the message, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like sharing or subscribing. But I do. I wish you much love and light in this situation. Be gentle and kind with yourself as you're going through this. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.